WNBA, y'all fumbled it with Caitlin when she came in, but don't fumble it with Paige too. Do not fumble this. Don't turn this into one of those big-time rivalry type things. Turn it to one of those, these guys were the hot shit when they was in college, and let's go see what they're going to do in the WNBA. Do that. Please do that. And get everybody else to get behind it. You got all them damn old heads, right? Old head is not something you want to be called. It's not. It's Unk and OG. The old heads are the assholes. They're the ones who don't like nothing that the young generation does. They're not trying to get behind it. You don't want to be an old head. <laughs> Somebody call you an old head? That shit is not good. <laughs> Hey yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolatty with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolatty Plays. Your boy is back, man. I'm back from the camping trip with my son, Cub Scouts. We had a blast out there, guys. A blast, man. I have never been camping in my life, right? At least not the time that I wasn't forced to do it when I was in the military. <laughs> but just voluntary going out there and camping, I've never done it. I never had the opportunity to, but guess what? My son has, and we had a great time. My son can shoot, right? It's, they let him go out there and shoot BB guns. They shot bow and arrows. My dude is, he, hey, he's a natural. He's a natural. And you need to get your kids out there to have them become naturals. Because it's crazy times out there. And they're going to have to know how to shoot. Because people is crazy. <laughs> Got to protect your families, man. Protect your families, man. I'm thankful. Thankful I was able to be, do this for my son, man. He doesn't have the life that I had. Sure don't have the life that I had, man. I'm 40 damn four. And I ain't never went on a voluntary camping trip. His ass is seven. He's doing everything. He should thank me. You should know where all this shit is coming from, guys. Oh, and guess what? Your boy not going to have blackout issues no more when I'm doing my videos. Check it out. Look at this. Check me out. Damn, this shit is heavy. Here we go. Look. Bam, guys. Bam. See that? Put this shit down. Your boy got him a new screen. In fact, I got two new screens, so we're not going to have them damn blackout issues we've been having, man. Because I need to give y'all quality content. And my last live, it was... Yes, that last lie was doodle. It was all messed up. The damn volume kept going out. I got blackouts. We ain't gonna have these issues no more. But I'm still having some issues with the microphone. I might have to give me a new interface. So I might have to go to Guitar Center today and give me a new interface so I can continue y'all to give y'all quality content. Because that's what y'all here for. Y'all here to get all this, this news, right? Newsworthy from your boy, Chocolati. And here goes some news, right? As I was on my trip, though, because you know I got to scroll and do shit when everybody sleep. I saw that there was a, some news on Paige, right? And Paige is going to be one of the next big things. Will she be as big as Kaylin was? I don't know, but she's got some buzz, right? And imagine if she can bring that buzz with her and the people that was watching Kaylin Clark ready to watch her too, because I'm ready to watch it because the many people who talk about her, I want to see how good she is. I went and looked up some of her old games and she's pretty impressive, man. She, she might be somebody that's going to be a big, big, big threat for them women that's in the WNBA right now. And that's what they don't want. They don't want these youngsters to come in and take their spots because we not honestly, I don't think people are really worried about seeing Kaylin go against anybody else in the WNBA. They probably worried about her seeing them, the ones that's coming in now, because that's the new era. That's the new era of ballers. That's why so, so many people was tuning in to watch Kaylin because she's a new generation baller. Right. You, I'm sorry, Asia, you missed the cut. You missed the cut. Your game came in too late. Like I said, it is boring. It's boring to watch Chris Boss and Tim Duncan play. That's the issue with you. Nothing else. That's all it is. People are going to really be ready to watch Paige. I'm going to go and watch her play when she's playing college so I can see if she is good as people say she is. Right? Cause, and as of right now, they had her slated to go play in the Valkyrie. The expansion team is going to be the Golden State Valkyrie. But they just let news out that they're going to be picking fifth in the WNBA. So there's no way that they can pick up Paige unless they trade down. And I don't think nobody's going to trade their damn position to give it to the, to, the, to the Valkyrie, this expansion team that's going to be pulling players from other teams too. You mean tell me I'm going to give you the first pick and you get to pick who you want from teams that's already established in the WNBA? You must have lost your damn mind. Right As of right now, since the Valkyrie don't have that first pick, the Sparks, right, they are in line for the first pick. That would mean they would have Rakia Jackson, Cameron Brink, and Paige Beckers. Is that how you pronounce her last name? I have a hard time pronouncing her last name. And there's somebody else on the Sparks. So I can't. I always have a hard time remember who her name is. Like Mayberry, Meckerbury. I, I can't remember. But if they get Paige, they're going to be dominating players. They're going to be dominating teams, man, because the, with the expansion draft, all these players that made their team so much better, they're going to get moved around and moved to those two teams. Then we're going to have to look at the fact that there are two other teams that are in line if the Spark don't end up getting them. That's the Wings and the Mystic. 
both of which would start to dominate if they got Paige. Boy, it's going to be a great year. WNBA, y'all fumbled it with Caitlyn when she came in, but don't fumble it with Paige too. Do not fumble this. Don't turn this into one of those big time rivalry type things. Turn it to one of those, these guys were the hot shit when they was in college and let's go see what they're going to do in the WNBA. Do that. Please do that and get everybody else to get behind it. You got all them damn old heads, right? Old head is not something you want to be called. It's not. It's Unk and OG. The old heads are the assholes. They're the ones who don't like nothing that the young generation does. They're not trying to get behind it. You don't want to be an old head. <laughs> Somebody call you an old head? That shit is not good. Don't let them call. Man, they making fun of you. Seriously. You suck. They will never listen to you because you shit on everything that they believe in. You don't give them a chance. You don't guide them. You talk down on them. Like everybody that talked down on all the new TikTokers and all the new the, the YouTubers, the comedians who came off of those platforms, or even the podcasters who come off of these platforms like me. They talk shit about people like me, saying you didn't go through the trenches. Yeah, what are you talking about? It took a lot to get on these microphones to do this thing. Man, I started doing what I do on Instagram before I even tried to go to YouTube. So give the young generation a shot. Give them a chance, man. Stop hating on them. And now, before I leave, right, my Bears pick looked like it came through. <laughs> Bears went over there to, to London. It was Jacksonville's second home and beat they ass. Caleb Williams showed off. He showed off. Four, th four touchdown passes. Now, I picked the Bears because I know their defense is good right now. The Jags have been stanking it up. But I didn't know that boy Caleb was going to go over there and play like this. Shout out to that boy, because I, I feel like he needed this game. And he it was the only game that was on right now, so he had so many people watching. They could be like, damn, Caleb can really play. You did your thing when you was under the lights. Just like every other team that was in the WNBA did their thing when they was under the lights playing against Caitlin. Guys, that is my time. I'm out this thing. I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with your boy. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos. I appreciate all you guys. I'm back. Let me go ahead and put my gear up, though, man, so we can do a good live later. I appreciate all y'all. Peace. Peace.